Our world is still very much a mystery. Each day strange things are discovered, showing us that we still have a lot to learn about the things around us. One photograph that's doing the rounds on social media is this one, and it allegedly shows a huge object moving along the sands of the Sahara Desert. Those who spotted the strange object questioned how something so large could move such a distance. One user suggested that this large object might be a stone, and that it fell from one of the nearby mountains, and caused this large skid mark. The issue is when measuring the skid mark it goes on for over 981 meters, leaving some to question whether wind would be able to carry this object such a long distance. Another user said the following, Could this have come from space? To me it looks like it could be a meteorite, and the trail behind it was caused when the object came crashing to the ground. End quote. This may not be such a far-fetched idea. After all, one of the oldest meteorites ever discovered was found in the Sahara Desert, with scientists estimating that the space rock was over 4.6 billion years old. The researchers have said that the meteorite will be able to shed some light on the early solar system. Initial studies in 2021 revealed that the chunk was actually from a protoplanet, and that it formed before Earth. It seems that the Sahara Desert is a hotspot for these early space objects, as another meteorite was found in the Sahara Desert by a team of researchers. Dr. Jutta Zipfel, from the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry, revealed that this was a Martian meteorite, and that this was an important discovery because it was the first Martian meteorite found in the Sahara Desert. Others who saw the photograph suggested more out their theories, saying that it could be an advanced craft that crashed into the ground, noting that the object itself doesn't look like a rock or part of the nearby mountains, saying that whatever this thing is must have been big because the width of the skid mark is over 40 meters. Interestingly, as Summer pointed out, the area where the skid mark starts shows no sign of a mountain or raised area, which has led some to say that if this was a rock from a mountain you'd see the mountain along with a chunk missing, but we can't see that in any of the photos. As of right now, these photographs are still generating discussions online, with people confused as to how such a large structure would be able to slide across the Sahara Desert. Those who put forward the idea of the object moving via the use of ice sheets or wet areas should note that on average the Sahara gets between 0 and 2 inches of rain per year, although some locations go without rain for several years. Although this explanation may seem like the most likely answer, it's unlikely that such a large object would be able to move across the sands of the Sahara with so little water. Even this theory is disputed among researchers, with some saying that more data is needed, and noting that the stones that have been moved via water are very small, under 20 inches in diameter. The object just photographed in the Sahara Desert measures in at over 84 meters in length. As some have pointed out as well, let's say that this object is a rock, Natural crushed rocks that measure between 10 and 20 inches weigh approximately 1.1 tons per cubic meter, with solid rock measuring in at 2.5 to 3 tons per cubic meter. One user said the following, I'm not saying that this is something mysterious, but how could such a large object be moved by wind or rain? On top of this, there's no mountain behind it that this could have fallen from. If this object was coming from the other side, if this object was coming from the other side where there's visible mountains, then we could say that this was a large rock. But again, that doesn't explain how such a large rock was able to slide almost a thousand meters on sand. This is one of those situations where the more you think about it, the stranger it gets. End quote. This isn't the first time that rocks have been seen moving on their own. Although the sliding rocks in Death Valley are nowhere near the size of the object I just spoke about, the Death Valley sailing stones are a strange phenomenon recorded nowhere else on the face of the earth. It appears at different times of the day. The rocks will begin to move and inscribe long tracks along the smooth valley floor without any human or animal intervention. 
there are many different hypotheses of explanations that may be causing the movement of the stones. At times these lines can move straight for long distances, turn around or turn 90 degree angles. Many researchers believe that the movement of the rocks could be caused by a balance of very specific conditions that naturally form that allow the rocks to slowly glide by using the frozen sheets of ice beneath them and the perfect wind conditions the valley creates against the stones. Oddly enough, no definitive proof for the movement of the stones exist, as there are no recordings or direct monitoring of the rocks as they're moving. This has led some to believe that perhaps there is another mechanism at play for the movement of these stones, contributing to the idea of ley lines and strange electromagnetic properties seen at specific points around the world. This theory might actually prove to be legitimate, as researchers found that volcanic rock can display electromagnetic properties, as seen in other areas around the world, and research into the event has proven that the rocks were not moved via any mechanisms of buoyancy regarding 2014 data. With research into the matter and other evidence that the natural materials found within the stones could be magnetic, and manipulated by electromagnetic properties, Some of the most interesting and mysterious videos are captured by accident. These rushed encounters usually result in blurred footage, and this is normally due to the fact that the individual in question wasn't expecting to see anything. Modern day smartphone cameras are great for close up photographs, but anything that's 10 meters away and further becomes blurry. Videoing something in the sky that's moving is even more of a challenge. However, with steady hands, one is able to take a decent video. The individual behind this interesting recording is that of Mr. Joey Tucker. At the time of the recording, Joey was in a parking lot in New Mexico, just outside of Tina's Cafe. As he looked up, he could see that the plane was being followed by three objects, saying that these strange objects were keeping a strict formation and didn't move. Joey said that the camera was on maximum zoom, and that it was really hard to see the objects with his natural eyesight. Upon viewing the footage, he was able to see that he'd captured the plane and the strange objects next to it, noting that the slightest movements with his hands would move the camera a lot. Joey said the following. Towards the end of the video, you will see the plane with the objects following. Sorry for the bad video. I was trying to spot it with my own eyes at the same time. End quote. As you can imagine, the video led to many people responding, with some going on to detail their own encounters with these objects. Some users said that we can rule out them being any kind of aeroplane, noting that the objects are too small and don't look anything like a plane, and also said that they kept a strict formation, matching many eyewitness descriptions. One user said the following, I think this is the real deal. The sound of the object slowly disappearing behind the clouds, and if you zoom in at the very end you can still see these objects. Usually when these things are faint they just suddenly vanish during one frame, but that doesn't happen here. I've gone through every frame and it's very consistent. I think this is the real deal. End quote. Those in the comment section have said that these objects are well known to those who study mysterious flying aircrafts 
saying that the disc is one of the most commonly sighted aircrafts. Although these things have been studied for decades, theorists are no closer to understanding what they are. There's some who think they're drones, noting that the speeds and g's they hit are far too high to have anything biological inside, saying that these things can hit hundreds of g's and travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour. Interestingly, in recent years, military officials have come forward and backed up these statements, saying that they've tracked them and are still inferior to them. Other theorists who have spent years trying to get to the bottom of what these things are have speculated that they could be coming from an outside source, noting that time and time again these things have been seen on the International Space Station cameras. Even NASA has admitted that something is going on, and after talking to military officials they're going to take these sightings seriously, noting that they will be investigating these objects themselves, saying that they have the best scientists on board and hope to come to a definitive answer for what these things are. Skeptics have said that these objects are not of interest, and that all of these sightings can be explained using everyday things such as balloons, and natural weather phenomena. As some military pilots have pointed out though, a balloon can't fly tens of thousands of miles per hour, evade our most sophisticated jets, hit G's that would destroy any human along with the craft itself, and also do a 10,000 foot vertical takeoff within a second. Another person told me their story, and told me their story about how they saw something while on a plane. They said the following, I've seen these objects before and I couldn't make sense of what they were. During my encounter I saw four of them, and each one was similar distance from the other. They were holding a tight formation, and were in the shape of a triangle, but from my point of view they looked like individual crafts rather than being part of one craft. If I had to guess, I would say that the objects were around 30 feet in length, and each of them didn't appear to have anything on them. I couldn't see any insignia, nor could I make out wings or any propulsion system. The whole encounter lasted no longer than 20 seconds, but to this day I have no idea what it was that I saw. End quote. As of right now, these objects are still up for debate, but what's interesting is that more people are coming forward with their encounters, and high-up officials are now acknowledging that these things exist. So what do you make of this interesting video, and what do you think these objects are? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.